Hey there, everybody, and welcome back for another video. Um, once again, I'm doing an 8x8 canvas showing you various different techniques that are easy for beginners and experienced fluid artists alike. So today I'm doing a, um, an ocean swipe using a palette knife. So I've got my watercolors. Um, I've got this dark navy, metallic blue, metallic teal, Caribbean blue, and this metallic light purple. So I'm adding a purple just for something fun. And then I also have this bottle of pre-mixed um, base paint. All my paint is mixed uh, paint with Floetrol and then thinned with water to the right consistency, which is not super watery, but it flows well. Okay, so I'm going to move the colors a little bit and start out by covering my canvas with this base coat. And the base coat is a little bit thinner than my other colors. I don't think it would have to be, but it, it, it's easier to spread out a thinner base coat. Otherwise, it's mixed pretty much the same way. I am going to use my kitchen torch to pop some air bubbles, but that's not super necessary. Okay, so I've done several of these ocean swipes, I, but I've never gotten it on camera. I either did it without filming or I did it as a class with other people and I've never filmed one. So usually I do it on a, a skinny rectangular canvas, like a 10 by 20 or a 12 by 24. Today I'm trying it on the eight by eight. I think it'll still look really cool. So let's get started. So you're gonna take your colored paint and just put it across the white. And I'm not particularly trying to have like dark at the bottom and light at the top. I just want it to look pretty much the same colors uh, everywhere. When you start your pour, just make sure you start off the canvas so that the paint goes on the sides as well, not just in the middle. That looks like a great mix of colors. Uh, some cells are already starting to form. Oh, I forgot to mention, all my colors have silicone in them. The base coat doesn't, it doesn't really have to, but all the colors have just about a drop of silicone per ounce of paint. And I only needed about an ounce of paint per color, plus, I don't know, two ounces, two ounces of the white probably. Okay, so with your palette knife, the first thing you want to do is cover the top edge, because as you swipe, you're going to be moving sort of in a wave pattern, but you have to get the top edge covered. So I'm just going to Well, that wasn't great what I just did with the corner, but look at those pretty bubbles. Ah, so cool. Um, I'm going to take just a bit of paper towel here and dip it in some of this fallen paint and pull, pull this to the corner just so that we've got the top edge covered. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now it's time to start doing the actual swiping. And what I need to figure out is, do I do just a basic sort of undulating wave, or do I try to make some peaks? And I think the answer is I wanna make peaks. 
So you just gently pull. Okay, and then as you go back again, hmm, I think I'm gonna have to swipe all in the same direction since I'm making peaks. But, uh, no, this time I'll swipe it a little bit more evenly. And each time, wipe off your palette knife. So I accidentally went down to the canvas here. That happens sometimes when you're using a palette knife. So I'm just going to dip in there and cover that up. The nice thing about silicone is it forms its own bubbles and you really can't tell. Okay, I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try again with some more peaks. Those turned out well. I'm loving all the cell action I'm getting here. So when you're doing this, don't be tempted to go back over and over and over and fix everything because it's just gonna start looking bad. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cover the bottom and then I'm gonna get this section in the middle with some more peaks. And then I'll fix any little spots that need to be fixed. Okay, I need another little piece of paper towel. I'm gonna dip it in purple, because that's the color I've got here. And just kind of touch it to my edge and pull down over the white edge to like encourage the colors to come down. So you really could swipe with anything. You don't have to use a palette knife. You could use a, a playing card, a little piece of plastic. You could use a putty knife. Just anything that you can use to gently pull the colors across other colors. Okay, so you don't want to go back over it very much at all because it will just turn the colors muddy. The first pass makes beautiful cells. The second pass makes mud. So don't fall into that trap. What we do now is we use tiny, tiny pieces of paper towel to just kind of tweak. So right here I got, it's actually not too bad. It looked like a hollow area, but I don't think it is. So I'm just gonna look and see if there's spots that I don't like. And if there are, then, okay, so here, this blue, I wish it went all the way to the edge. So I'm just going to take this tiny piece of paper towel and just pull it. And the cool thing about silicone is that cells will pop up and make your, your edits not look that noticeable. It's awesome. Okay, this corner is kind of bare. I, I think I scraped that pretty, pretty bare. So I'm just gonna scoop up some paint and put it on there. And then use a little piece of paper towel to just pull it off. Paper towel is nice because it's very gentle. Okay, so this side, because I did most of my swiping from this side, uh, there aren't, the paint hasn't flowed over this side and there aren't cells on this side. So I'm just gonna get, again, bits of paper towel.
Okay, this is looking awesome. Um, I'm almost finished with the tweaks and then I'll give you a close up. Okay, I'm super happy with this. The last step is to take your palette knife and just, or a popsicle stick, and just run it under the edge of the canvas to catch those drips. Okay, and we're all done. Let me give you a close up. Check out how awesome that looks. I love the details of those peaks, though even just gentle up and down motions would look great too. But look how cool those cells are. You can already see some of the metallic shimmer in the purple and the blue. I love that section right in there. Such cool bubbles. And then up here with the purple, it's just really pretty and it's really easy. Thanks for watching this installment of my 31 paintings for the new year. Let me know if you end up making a painting like this. I'd love to see it. Thanks again. See you next time.